The Weather Service also believes a small tornado tore through northeast Arkansas and injured four people in the small town of Taranza. Some 800 people live there. It's about 45 minutes northwest of Memphis. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broder has visited the town in Poinsett County to see the damage firsthand. This morning, severe weather in Taranza, Arkansas packed quite a punch, doing significant damage to Taranza Elementary School, even blowing a portion of this gas station sign to the property next door. As you can see, significant damage of that building. Now, a weeks long rebuilding process begins in this community with the help of volunteers and neighbors in this tight knit community. I feel very blessed when I say what I have and what my neighbor has. The relief is real for Pam Householder after a likely tornado this morning in Taranza threw a piece of her property high into this tree. It had to have been very, very strong, yeah, because that carport was staked down. The National Weather Service believes an EF1 tornado with winds between 86 and 111 miles per hour barreled through the Poinsett County, Arkansas community before 6 this morning. We've had storms. This is probably the worst I've seen. The powerful winds tore up this Valero gas station, ripped off part of the roof of Taranza Elementary, and uprooted trees. The Taranza Fire Chief said as many as 100 homes suffered some kind of damage. The fact that no lives were taken during this storm, I think. Like, uh, we just have, need to be extremely thankful for that. We've had quite a bit of damage here. Poinsett County Sheriff Kevin Mulder said even though Mother Nature made its mark, volunteers and strangers came together to clean up debris, feed those in need, and get things back to normal. This is a strong community. They will band together, and they will come out of this stronger. And the outpouring of support has been amazing so far. A school board member in this area tells me it will likely take months to fully repair the damaged Taranza Elementary School. In the meantime, it's expected students will be moved to mobile classrooms and some transferred to a nearby elementary school until those repairs are complete. Reporting in Taranza, Arkansas, Brad Broder's Local 24 News.